Yeah. Yo, talk a little bit about the the, the making of the album. You know, because it's, it's regarded as, as one of the classics of the 90s, and the 90s is considered the golden era. And, you know, every that that's the kind of album you can still listen to now from front to back. It's timeless. What was the yeah. making of the album like, the process? Once you guys linked, honed in on that whole grimy feel and attitude, uh, what was what was it like making that whole thing? I mean, you know, um, right before we did the album, like I said, like when, like a lot of shit was happening, man. Like you know, we was becoming men, so we was going through trials and tribulations and shit. So niggas really, you know, with all the stress, niggas we, we cut our hair off. You know what I'm saying? Because right before we was coming out, you had like the whole daylight trial called Quest. You know, then you had the leaders. So a lot of niggas had dreads and. You know, niggas was still caught up in that yeah. girl I house you shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like it's house words. <laughs> you know, yeah. New York was on that shit. Niggas was rocking beads and that all types of shit. shit. Yeah. So um, you know, we got caught up in that lane too. Niggas had dreads and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But niggas, then we just cut cut all the hair. We just cut all that shit off and just start wearing black all the time. Like niggas just saying, you know, we just got into a different zone. And then um, like I said, when Dive Effects came out. I think when Leaders of the New School and Dive Effects came out, I think that kind of changed the, the whole the outlook on hip-hop. Hip-hop got dark right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Naughty by Nature. Like, the Cypress Hills came out. It, like, right there, mm. hip-hop got dark. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, and we we'll, was, we'll but, that, but all that shit was popping, we was doing our album. So, mm. so if, if this is where hip-hop is going and we doing our album, of course we're going to, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, you know, the you know, this is our competition. We competing with this, with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So okay, so Naughty right. by Nature, the new school, Dodge Effects, they doing this shit. Well, we gonna come with this shit. This is gonna be harder than what they doing. You know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. set, right. they set, we was doing up. And I guess, you know, you think about it. Wu Tang came after us, so I'm sure, you know, we was setting yeah. them niggas up. You know what I'm saying like, okay. These niggas, oh, it's Onyx, and we gotta come harder than them niggas. And then I'm, I'm sure Biggie Smalls was looking at Wu Tang like, oh, I, right, well, these niggas, like, you know, what I'm saying. So, it, it, whoever's kind of come before you who's popping, you kind of like, you know, had that competitive mind state. You know, not like you going against them, but yeah, it's like you know, this is our, this is our competition. We gotta be better than that. So that was our whole mind state going to back the fuck up. We was just trying to be iller than Dive Effects, iller than Naughty, and iller than Cypress Hills. So, you know, we wanted to make records with big choruses, and you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we let Shy, Shy Skills and Jay was handling all the production, but we wanted to have the ad-libs. Like, the leaders of the new school had the ad-libs. We took that little element, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was, like, like forming our own shit, but kind of, like, using other niggas' shit, too. You know what I'm saying? To tell you the truth. Right. Um, so, you know, it, it, that's how we kind of constructed that shit. And just the chemistry that me, Suave, and, and Sun C, and, and Big DS, we had our own little competition going on amongst each other. You know what I'm saying? Because we in the right. group. So, okay, well, we all writing in the studio. Shit, he writing his shit. I got my shit got to be yelling and stick, stick. Right? My shit got to be yelling and, and Big DS. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just yeah. being in the group, he well, was very competitive. You know what I mean? Nah, that's dope, man. Um, it's crazy because you guys definitely had like the ill chance and shit like that. What did the idea come for the interlude, um, about the bootleggers and shit like that? Oh man, that was that was a real story. Niggas got niggas got mm. yeah, word up. Niggas, we used to see the the, the the bootlegging niggas. You know what I'm saying? The niggas is always bootlegging shit. We always seen that the African niggas is bootlegging shit back in the days. That's taking money out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? That's Word. like, yo, hold up. You, you, sell up, you sell them up, I, I need to eat from that. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> you know, that's where that came from. And it's, and it's crazy because after the album came out, we got, we got arrested for beating up the bootlegged nigga on, on, on Canal Street. Word. Mm. Nigga was yeah, yeah, they had all the bootleggers. We grabbed our CDs. Man, African niggas was swinging bats at us and all types of shit. <laughs> Word, the police came, niggas got arrested, all that shit from that bootleg mm. shit. Well, that that shit was foul back then, that bootleg shit, to make it happen.